Access to affordable health care is just one of the things we all need. What else? Kamal Franklin, an organizer now with community movement builders in Atlanta, says people need homes, not just houses, and a say in how their neighborhoods develop. Franklin was recently in New York, where he told us about a housing buyback project and a people's assembly process he's involved in in Georgia. Then, Mamera Duje Prosper and Maria Luisa Mendoza have been studying resistance to land grabs in Haiti and Brazil and finding that just and equitable food systems are a huge part of it. Is there anything we can learn from that? Take a look. Well, you know, a lot of times, particularly in cities that have been traditionally or longer term black cities, um, they've been sort of uh, South Africa post-apartheid. You've had black political elites who've com combined with white economic elites to decide how the city will run. And usually how the city will run is not necessarily in the benefit of, let's say, the working class of that particular city. It's usually for the benefit of the elite um, white economic community and the elite uh, black economic community, with the small amount that there is. Um, and that may sort of trickle down into some jobs, but doesn't necessarily have to be that. I want to make a turn or a shift to trying to build grassroots institutions and figure out how do we build workable cooperatives that have some sustainable economic ideas behind them. So we're starting a farmer's market, we have a community garden, we're doing micro business with youth. How do we do these things that bring resources to these communities and do them in a way that says this is not about capitalist structure, but about cooperative structures, new ways of thinking about how to do and organize economic needs, uh, which hopefully leads to additional political education around the difference between if we do things collectively and how we operate in a capitalist nature state of individualism. The Community Movement Builders is an organization that's base building in a working class community in Atlanta called Pittsburgh that owns property uh, that it, one property uses as a community house and another piece of property is going to build another house to use as organizing housing for people to do work in that community. So the buyback program is a way of trying to get not only the community, but institutions like churches within the community, people outside who are concerned about these issues to raise money so that we can buy property in these neighborhoods and use some of that property for housing, for community work, um, and for organizing that we think can help contribute to the sustainability of the community. We need a way to make sure that the property and the land in the area is sustained over many years. And the only way to really do that is to start building land trust. The structures don't mean anything unless we have economic enterprises that are viable, that people will want to participate in in terms of commerce and spending. We just did a people's assembly in the Pittsburgh area where we talked to residents and we, we sort of took what were their main concerns, what were the things that they really wanted to have done to make their community more livable. And one of the things that always comes up in poor or working class communities is around safety and crime. Most people don't believe that the police are going to solve these, these issues, but they feel like they don't have alternative infrastructure, alternative institutions that can serve the purpose of providing safety, but stopping police brutality, but not necessarily taking people away from out, out of the community as dangerous because they smoke weed or because they wear their pants low or something along those lines. So part of what we do is that we create security structures that can operate as cooperatives, uh, that can operate as community patrols, and they include helping to provide safety for people in the community, but also being uh, on call to watch the police as they patrol our community so that we can make sure that the rights of folks are not violated. Um, I think we've moved away from sort of a, um, a, a material basis of like food, clothing, shelter, and move a lot towards just a simple rights basis. Again, those things are important, but I think for everyday working class people, we sometimes we have to get back to what are the everyday challenges that these folks are facing.